it's me, maybe I should turn off this music because. Oh. So I'm kicking it with Charlie. Hi, Charlie. So I'm just back. Well, actually, it's been a few hours now, and I'm really resting. Um, so. Uh, today I did the Brussels 20 kilometer race and it was actually a really good run but I I always forget I, I think I for, forgot how challenging that race is it's like so many it's literally I think all hill maybe it was like three declines downhills so um, but I had a really good time um, I ran through the whole race. I didn't stop at all. Just no pauses or anything. Um, my goal was to get at least an hour 45 minutes. And I got an hour 40 minutes. Um, so that's good. So hopefully maybe next year I can take 10 minutes out. Um, I love these races. I don't know. People will think it's like some people are like, what? How can you run for like, you know, 20 kilometers or 40 kilometers? I don't know. It goes through your mind when you're running. Like, like literally today, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm dying, I'm dying. But it's like I'm dying with a smile on my face. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but each time you go, you learn more, you get stronger, and that's why I get addicted to it. And. And I just like it because I, I, I'm stronger than ever and I feel um, like I should keep going because I'm just getting better and better and feeling better and better. So I'm sticking with my plan, my routine, how I'm training, um, how I've been doing this. Uh, I, I train like maybe three times a week, um, sometimes four. Next in July, it's going to go up a little bit more um, because I'm going to train for long, longer runs, like marathons. Um, I'm excited for that also. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's just a feeling when you get past the finish, when you get to the finish line. And, and then I just, after the race, I literally just jump on my bike and drive to my, go to my car and then come home. I used to um, like party. I used to like, oh, give me my beer. But now it's just, an, I just, I'm, I'm accomplished. It's done. So yeah. So um, I'm having my surgery on the 31st of May. So um, it's coming up. Um, so a couple days ago, they changed my braces. Um, from ti the, the wire, they changed it from titanium um, wires ti to stainless steel, and it's so painful. Like, it's just not, it's just like my teeth are like, like they're being pulled, you know, like, and I can't even eat, I can't bite down. It's getting a little bit better now. So that that's the reason why um, this is the last, that was the last race for this year. I mean, for, for this first half. So I, I, I'm doing this this uh, run tour. It's called Run250. Um, there's a hashtag run number 250, the, the word. And um, I'm running as many races as I can until I'm 50. And then I'm going to see what happens after that. Um, by the time I turn 50, I'm hoping to, um, to run the... Uh, the Boston Marathon, you gotta qualify that. And right now, I'm not running fast enough for that. Um, if I, I if I keep my pace right now, I think I'm running a three hour, forty minutes. Is it? I don't know, something like that. But I think that with my age group, I gotta run it under that. I gotta run like three twenty five, or something like that, to even qualify. And then I gotta try to get in. So I'm excited for that. But anyways, um, yeah, so they changed the, the wires 
um, on my teeth uh, for preparation, preparation for surgery. So what they're going to do, oh my gosh. So I, I originally, I thought they were just going to push, because my jaw, um, the first part what I did was last year on February 5th, they expanded my upper jaw. So now my upper jaw is over bigger. It used to be smaller than my lower jaw. Now it's bigger and it's okay. So I thought that was finished and then they're gonna work on the lower jaw because now my lower jaw comes out. All right, see it? And it's crooked. So what they have to do is they have to straighten it out and then push it back. But now the problem is that the upper jaw is crooked. This part of my jaw needs to be moved. I think it needs to be moved this way, just a little bit, because my surgeon said, what's the point of moving your jaw this way if it's gonna make my whole jaw crooked? You know what I mean? So I have to have double jaw surgery on May 31st. So I'm gonna be staying in the hospital for two days, two nights. So, oh, what a nightmare. But you know, you gotta get it done. Um, I just want to get it over with so that I continue on with things, you know, my studio and running and training and just being fabulous. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm also wanting, I'm very interested in doing a skincare line. So I'm working on that already. Well, I've been thinking about it for a long time now, but now I'm actually digging into it, like finding places where I, uh, um, where you, I would get my products, and um, I'm doing uh, some research on what are the best products for anti-aging, and um, finding you know other inspiration from other uh, uh, skincare lines. But it's just something I want to do because I'm I'm so interested in skincare. I, it's just I've always been interested in skincare. Like if you go to my bathroom, it's just all skincare products, and everyone's like, "Lee, it's not that serious," but I can't help it. You know what I mean? It's just like I'm, I just like the feeling of like moisturizing and like taking a break, rejuvenation. So, so I'm excited to like d dive into that. So I want it to be all natural products. I don't want any of the crap in it that, that you know, but I have to do heavy research. So um, that's just, I just wanted to talk and I'm just so excited. Stefan's in, um, in Amsterdam right now. I could have actually went to Amsterdam, but no, I had to do this race. I had to do this race. Um, and also, um, I post all these stuff on um, social media, not because um, I'm trying to like, I'm actually not posting pictures of myself working out. I'm actually posting photos of me accomplishing uh, a sport to fitness, like my numbers. So I'm not actually posting pictures of myself doing squats. And, um, I, I, did th I do that sometimes, but that's more um, for advertising for my studio but I don't post pictures of me in the gym, like, you know, that's more personal. Um, you, I won't post pictures, you won't see me running on a treadmill or or you won't see me doing push-ups, you know, 20 push-ups ever, you won't see me, that's, that's too personal. But I will post my times because I want people to see how I'm excelling and myself and show people that can be, it can be done. So, um, because I'm 48, I'm going to be 48 and, about three months on August 17th, um, the last day of Janet Jackson's um, Metamorphosis tour in Vegas, show in Vegas, but I don't think we have to, I'm able to go because uh, we have to be in Venice also around that time. So um, so that's why I post. I, and you know, I, and I see other um, people on social media and some, some that I know that are like, they always have to, um, uh, let people know that they're posting this for inspiration and motivation, not to um, piss people off. Like, you know, oh my God, you work out. Oh my God, you eat that, you eat whatever. You know, like me, myself, you know, I, I, I don't post, I post ideas for food, but I don't talk about um, 
I don't push it in people's faces. Like, uh, like if I, you know, I'm eating vegan or plant-based or I'm eating fish only, I, I just like to post ideas. Although I think that me eating this way, I think that it has a lot to do with me being faster. I really do. I feel a lot of energy. Um, but I'm not gonna go into what I eat, so. But anyways, I just wanna thank everyone um, that sticks by me and like don't, doesn't think that I'm crazy, you know. I don't, I don't do anything anymore. I don't go out anymore. I don't do anything. I'm just so focused on creating and making things happen. Um, I think I've always been like that. And me moving to Europe is like a big step into that accomplishment because thanks to Stefan, oh my God, I'm so happy I met Stefan. Um, that just helps me um, grow. Like he helps me grow. So, which is the important part of the relationship. So I hope everyone has a great Sunday, the 19th. Janet Jackson's birthday was three days ago. Happy birthday, Janet. I posted my pictures with you. <laughs> All right, bye. Charlie thinks I'm crazy. Bye. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to do uh, another video um, about my surgery and the, the updates. I'm gonna show pictures of what happened, and my, the, the changes in my jaw, and I'm gonna talk more about that um, around the time, like maybe a day or two before the surgery, maybe that Wednesday. Um, and I'm gonna show you the after, before after pictures. And, you know, and, and then later on, I will post a video of the uh, what happened and how, how I look after the surgery. Okay, thanks again, bye.